What's up, y'all? It's your boy Niner Faithful. How's everybody doing? We here at the legendary catch statue here at Levi Stadium with our uh, daily training camp report for today, July 30th. Uh, Jimmy Ward was removed off the pup list today and had the blue non-contact jersey. I would assume that he would be returning to practice probably sometime next week, um, if not on Thursday when when camp returns. Um, Quan Alexander was held out of all 11 on 11 contact today. Um, he, he did practice, but he just was held out of 11 on 11. Uh, I probably don't want to work him three days in a row. A D Ford went off for a brief moment with uh, what looked like they were working on his hand, his wrist, or his finger, somewhere in his hand region. But uh, he did return back to practice. Mike McClinchy went down for a brief moment, but got up, kind of kind of scared the living hell out of all of us. But um. And then uh, Sol Solomon Thomas today had a nice day of practice. Um, went ahead and beat Joe Staley on a couple different moves and had a nice tackle for loss and, and what would look like probably would have been a sack in a game. Uh, the kick returners today were uh, DJ Jones, or DJ Reed. I keep on saying DJ Jones. <laughs> DJ Reed and Malik Henry. So it, no Dante, no Debo, no Richie James. That was kind of interesting to see. Uh, Trent Taylor made a nice little move on Richard Sherman and Akilah Witherspoon today. So Trent Taylor is continuing to have his strong training camp. Uh, Dante Johnson showed up w well today as well. He had a nice tackle for loss and, a, and nice coverage all, all practice. Um, I saw Marquise Goodwin after struggling a little bit early in training camp, to me at least, uh, had a nice reback day. It showed like he was really working for the ball today, really working to get open. Uh, had a nice comeback, uh, coming back to the ball catch against Sherman today. Uh, Mike McGlinchey, the play after he went down, had a nice lead. Well, I want to say lead block, but led the way for a nice Tevin Coleman run up the right sideline. Uh, Elijah Lee showed up today and had a nice pass breakup on George Kittle. And uh, on the same play, Richard Sherman had nice coverage against Kendrick Bourne. I mean, he, he, he had him locked down on that play. Um, Dre Greenlaw, y'all know I'm a huge Dre Greenlaw fan. Dre Greenlaw left practice early. I didn't see what, w what was up. He ran off of the field, so it probably is not that too serious, but he did leave practice early. Um, the, the communication issues we seem to have in the secondary seem to be a thing of the past. Um, I saw a nice communication, especially between Richard Sherman and Traverius Moore. There was a nice little switch that they had where you could tell they were at their zone and Sherman was, was continuing in his bail technique and it was the job of Traverius Moore to cover the middle of the, of, of the field. And he, he was right over great communication, no issues. That was awesome to see. Uh, Matt Breida had a, had a nice practice after what I would saw. I wouldn't say a bad practice. I, I called it bad, uh, wrong yesterday. But it was a subpar practice. But he had a nice bounce back practice today. A nice big touchdown run. And then there was a pick. I didn't see who made the pick, but it was on Debo or uh, or Richie James. I just saw the one. I didn't see the exact jersey number. But um, thank you all so much for watching. That is Niner Faithful Radio's daily training camp report for today, July 30th, 2019. We'll be back on Thursday. Also, make sure to check out our fan interaction show today at 5 p.m. here on the West Coast. We also might, I'm working very hard, but we might have a very, very extremely special guest on the show today. He might. I'm going to try to get him to at least say what's up to everybody. So make sure to... Go to CastBox, look Niner Faithful Radio, and you'll see our, our lives. Till then, I'll, I'll see y'all Thursday. Till then, faith, love, and happiness. Go Niners.